Hey, it's Johnny Cannon. We're back with our friend, accent attorney, Sweet James Bergener. Hi, James. Great to have you again. Hey, thanks for having me back. Now, as a guest, James has weighed in on all types of legal cases here on KFI. We're always telling you to call him if you've been injured in an accident because we want you to be empowered. In the legal system, the person with the best attorney wins. An accident can happen to anyone at any time. Sweet James, tell us about your client who is uh, in a very bad accident. Sure thing. She was just stopped at a red light when she was rendered by a big commercial truck. Now, as you can imagine, these are some of the worst type of accidents. The damage to a car is easy to see. The damage to someone's body can be tough to diagnose. Yeah, that, understand. that seems pretty tricky, you know. Yeah, yeah, she suffered from a lot of lingering pain, and it was very, very tough to diagnose. We sent her to a specialist that can test for a very rare form of chronic pain. And it turns out, unfortunately, the test came back positive. There's injuries that could affect her for the rest of her life. That is really tough. It is. We were able to get her a settlement of $6 million. But with injuries like that, that may last a lifetime, it really is hard to put a dollar amount on that. But at least a settlement can help her with peace of mind going forward. Well, it seems pretty cut and dry. I guess it was at fault? Well, no. We, again, we had to litigate and hire a medical specialist to diagnose her. With all of our medical treatment, her bills were simply astronomical. But we kept going. After we achieved the settlement, we worked with all of our doctors and medical providers to negotiate down all of our medical bills. So we were able to arrange agreements with her doctors that drastically reduced her bills and increased her settlement. Well, thank goodness she called Sweet James. Wow, this is exactly why you don't try to take on insurance companies on your own. If you're hurt in an accident, you need to call Sweet James Accident Attorney. James, how can they contact your team? Well, they can call us at 800-500-5200. That's 800-500-5200. Or go to SweetJames.com. And, of course, the outcome of your case cannot be guaranteed. However, with a team like his, you can be sure that you're in good hands. Well, thanks for talking to us once again, James. Thank you, guys. Always a pleasure. Don't miss Mama Mia. Tickets at LaMaranaTheater.com. This Halloween, go with the world. Ah, scary. GFI, AM640. More stimulating talk. Johnny Ketchup, John Cobell, and Dan Shampo, GFI, AM640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. All right, well, we unleash them every Friday at 5.20 and 5.50. The Moist Line folks will be with us the next hour. We'll hear them blathering. Hopefully you're shot again in $1,000. One more keyword to come here on the John and Ken Show. Uh, today, back to the movie shooting that occurred a week ago yesterday. The film set was for a movie called Rust. The setting was uh, New Mexico. And, of course, we learned uh, that day that uh, Alec Baldwin, actually fired a live round in practicing a draw method on the set of that film, and the bullet that was fired killed a cinematographer by the name of Helena Hutchins, went right through her, and then landed in the shoulder of the movie director, standing either behind her or beside her. The person at the center of all of this, there's actually two people, but the one that apparently movie industry veterans are pointing the finger out the most is the armorer for the film. Yes, the armorer is a person that's supposed to have charge of the weapon. It's this Hannah Gutierrez. And what happened is she's got lawyers, and they put out a statement. And uh, her attorneys are Jason Bowles and Robert Gordon. The statement said, safety is Hannah's number one priority in the Ultimately, this set would never have been compromised with law and law and other producers. Hannah has no idea where the live round came from. It's a nonsense statement. Her job is to check the gun and make sure there's no live ammo in it. She says she did a mixed direction. Dave Paul, the assistant director, admitted that he didn't thoroughly check. She stands by her statement that she did check the gun. Oh, so they're, they're uh, suggesting that maybe the... See, well, there's an AC. Done after she gave it to Dave Hall. But maybe Hall put the uh, live ammo in, right? This is exactly why I love the movie. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Check the dummies and make sure there were no hot rounds yeah, in that it, gun. It's lawyer nonsense. She didn't check it. She also <laughs> denies the rumors in this statement that any crew members were using that gun for live target practice. Never saw that happen, never let that happen. That a curious denial. What if you never saw that happen? Does it oh, I'm, I'm not, that's not the word. Oh. Oh, well, you'd be good at this too. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not denying to find the exact words. I don't have the statement of reading from the news. See this lady though? Pink hair and lots of tattoos. Uh, nice look. 
has lots of tattoos. The statement said the whole production set became unsafe due to various factors, including lots of safety meetings. They're arguing in this statement on her own past that she had asked for safety training uh, and was denied. So they're actually going having? one step further to say she actually wanted them to spend the time on making sure the film set was more safe, more than right. just the film was rushed and low budget, they pushed our test. More lawyer nonsense. More picking up mud. She mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. has a job to get done. Mm -hmm. you, you need to go to that safety yeah, training yeah. class. You got in the business. You took the job. You knew your job was yeah, yeah, done, yeah. so there were no live bullets in there. So I think what she needs is other people to handle the guns because that's part of the thing. Yes. Or if they should get extra training before they're holding any kind of a real gun. What training do you need to look into a gun to see if they're bullets in is it anybody supposed to know that these all these people worked on lots of movies? They all think it's about overall gun safety once they put these here. But all that so that's not the job of anybody but the armor and I guess it's but, but all that director. all that matters was checking the gun for bullets. All the other safety issues are irrelevant to this. See what they're doing is they're bringing up other issues to confuse everybody, confuse the public. It, oh yeah, they also it, added that she was actually hired for two jobs on the set which made things more complicated and difficult. No, you, it, it doesn't matter. You check the gun for more. That's independent of any other issue. It's not that hard, and it doesn't take very long. I hear that she fought for training games to maintain weapons and proper time to prepare for gunfire, yeah. but she was overruled by the production. She fought. She fought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's a victim, right? She's a victim, and it's just faceless, nameless, other bad guys on the set. Anything but I screwed up, I didn't do my job, somebody's dead. Now oh, here's that's what you should say. Concerning the target practice case. Hannah and the prop master gained control over the guns and she never witnessed anyone shoot live rounds with these guns. Uh, no one could permit that. They were locked up every night and at lunch, and there's no way a single one of them was unaccounted for being shot by two men. That, that's not that's a denial thing. either. I didn't see it. <laughs> well, that, 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 doesn't, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. It would be everywhere at all times. Well, right, right, but it, it's, not, it's not a denial. It, it, it's a non sequitur. It makes no sense. It doesn't matter oh. if you saw or didn't see. Somebody oh. put the bullet in there yeah. and you didn't check. Right. So everything is about creating fog and misdirection and getting everyone to talk about other issues. Politicians do this constantly, right? And much of the time, everybody falls for it. It's like, no, no, no. Let's go back to square one. What was your job? Oh, go open the gun and check the bullet. Did you do that? No. Everything else, you know, go tell it to yourself. So as we talked about, this woman apparently was the daughter of a long time film production armory. So she kind of came into the business to buy them sort of a turn in this. This is only her second sound, right? She was in a film called The Old Way. Uh, that was a debut as an armorer. She's only 24 years old, the daughter of veteran, veteran film armorer Stel Reed. Yeah, just because her dad... The crew members had said that there was lax gun safety protocols on the set of the old way showing the picture. Yeah. Just because her dad was good at the job doesn't mean she knew anything about it. Yeah. And I, I, did the dad feature? Did the dad feature not the bullets in the dark? Probably not. They say that they will put out another statement in the next week to address more of these rumors. Wait, we have more statements from Wally. And her side of the whole incident. I have an idea. Why doesn't she speak by herself and answer questions and go get the lawyer? The lawyers are putting on the The lawyers are making no sense. Yeah, I, I, I'll put my buddy John on hell and be in the most trouble here in terms of the criminal case. Uh, yeah, I guess that assistant director too, but yes. Yeah. Oh, and you're the armor though. That's the, the buck should stop with you. Yes. Yeah. That's your job and the only job to make sure the weapons are safe in your own. She knows it. I mean, there's uh, anybody who thought they were innocent would have hired two lawyers to talk about the issue. One lawyer should be that, but she's got two. Two uh, and uh, all kinds of mayhem. Oh, we got more coming up. John Sun Cross, I never marked that. <laughs>
can this be? Can I find the sign out? There's no shortage of ways, no need for the cheaper store works to get you a super new Honda. Whether you shop in our showroom, complete your deal online, or custom order your auto ship. Super prices, super selection, and a super experience. And regardless of where you lease your Honda, return it to one of our five Honda lease return super center locations for a super upgrade experience. Plus, every new no need Honda is backed by our exclusive price protection guarantee. With space, if you can find the same new Honda for in five days, your will pay you the difference or buy your vehicle back. Visit our super award-winning Long Range Honda Superstore location in Huntington Beach, West Covina, the Irvine Auto Store, <laughs> and the number one Honda store in the world in the Cerritos Auto Square. Plus, we're now open in Vista. Shop online at normreads.com. The greatest sale in history is going on now at Ashley Home Store. Take 55% off store-wide plus 55 months, no interest financing. America's number one mattress and furniture store, Ashley Home Store. This is home. Southland weather from KFI, partly cloudy tomorrow, highs low 70s, low 80s. This report brought to you by Ashley Home Store. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We have a crash. On the 101 in Encino. This one's on the northbound side and is coming up on half gold. Left lane has been blocked. They're trying to clear everything to lake away from Coldwater Canyon of the Studio City. The lake beyond the wreck all the way to White Oak. Let's check in with Mike O'Brien. KFI in the sky. Sponsored by Injury Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com, Anaheim Hills. And some trouble here for the 91 Angel. 91 eastbound, just a little past Imperial Highway. Currently, all lanes are blocked. They're trying to get everything to the right shoulder, but nonetheless, it was jammed up for about a mile here and actually not moving right now. Up ahead, not moving much faster. It's still crawling along there from Queer Canyon Truck Scales out to, into Corona. Looks like the problem now, I'm going to go down towards the Mescal Canyon. Looks like the 15 southbound at the Mescal. They've got a vehicle fire there, and I'm pretty sure a lane or two is blocked there, but because it is now bumper to bumper right off the 91. If you're heading north on the 15, up towards the Cohol Pass, 15 north down pretty heavy now from Kenwood up to the 138. If you're in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Michael Bryan, KFI in the Sky. Hey, FI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This report is sponsored by Grocery Outlet. Did you know that your local grocery outlet is independently owned and operated by folks in your community? This allows them to better serve their customers and give back to their community. Stop by your local grocery outlet today. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. What does solar mean for your future? Well, that depends on whether your solar is Sunlux Solar. Sunlux Solar means you've unshackled your home from the rising cost of electricity. Sunlux Solar means uninterrupted power during blackouts or natural disasters. It means no more dependence on gasoline because your home fuels your car. Sunlux Solar means saving tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the system. I design homes. I know just how much is riding on your solar. That's why I partner with Sunlux, because Sunlux is solar done right. The most comprehensive warranty of the industry, five-star customer service, critical partnerships with industry leaders like Tesla and LG. With Sunlux, it's a partnership for your home's future, and that future is just a click away at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com. CSLB 100 By now, you've heard the news. Boosters for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster, and don't forget to get your flu shot, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Contractor license 1047-781. Hey, Kenny Wayne, what Rick told us is pretty cool. It's Ken. You know it's Ken. I need to hear you say Ken. Rick runs Ghetto Academy, where we train plumbers and AP tests. Rick told me something that made me so happy I had to wipe tears off my cheeks. A student said, I knew working at Ghetto was going to be a great opportunity, but I didn't know it was going to change my life. That's what it's all about, Wacky Zacky. When you work at Ghetto, you know you matter. You know you're making a difference. 
Your customers and your co-workers love to see you coming, and they miss you when you're gone. Other companies expect you to upsell the customer, but Gettle Techs have only one job. Make the customer happy, they call us and trust the box to fix their problem. Ken sits down with all the new people once a month and talks about the future. and answers all their questions and learns all their names. I sit down with everybody once a month just to hear what's on their mind. Come to work for Ghetto. GOE, TPL. You'll be happier than you've ever been. At Uline, they know firsthand the road to success is an uphill climb. Uline started in the family basement and through hard work is now North America's most trusted shipping and industrial supplier. They get what it means to have the support of reliable, hard-working partners. So they keep 38,000 items ready to ship. Whether your company is still in a basement office or expanding cross-country, Uline will be there on your road to success. Visit Uline.com. This is Lito Smith, owner of Service Champions Plumbing, Heating, and AC, with another Good Deed for Free. Our technician, Alexander, was performing the tune-up recently when he discovered that he needed to run to Home Depot. He asked the customer if he needed anything at Home Depot, and he perked right up. The customer went into his garage and found a specialized screw with an O-ring on the end. He said he needed a few more just like this so he could hang a shade over his pool to keep his grandkids from getting sunburned. Alexander found the part, and when he got back, he said, Look, I have the tools, I have the energy, let's go ahead and hang the shade now. The job would have taken our customer an hour to do himself, but the two of them together got the shade up in just 15 minutes. Thanks, Alexander, for doing another good deed for free. We're service champions, plumbing, heating, AC, and good deeds for free. Service champions, plumbing, heating, AC. Oh, Joe, we had a lot of the coach today. We're talking about his 85 car to get there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, Mr. Joe, the world 85 car. But that's really, uh, it's big defeat for one of his big Sunday And then, of course, the side all this is definitely going to be to be part of the coach. Yeah, the the Yeah, the 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 I better get out of here. I don't know. I'm just going to get up and go, that's the only one you did. Hey, I'm so stuck. I'm going to kill him. Yeah. I know it continues to be after this. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, we talked about the flood of immigrants at the border. The, you know, what is it, that place of 1 point something million? So I remember in the last 50 years. It's an open border. It made me wonder why it's going on this effort to get a couple of guys into the United States illegally was necessary. Don't they get a lot of unusual ways that people try to smile at you? Yeah, that's right. 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 Sometimes in my favorite way, it's smothered to death. There was even one guy, I think, that came out of the coach, kind of like the engine in the front or something like that. But this one, I have never seen before. It happened at a checkpoint in a place called Encino, Texas. Apparently, a guy drove up to the checkpoint. It was a dad caravan minivan. And because of that, they wanted to look a little closer because it's a bigger vehicle. Yeah. And they saw a coach in it. And the driver said, um, the driver said, dead guy, maybe guy. The driver exactly called her blood. Dead guy, maybe guy. That was the answer. Oh, yeah. 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 Had been affixed to the top of a beat up computer with packaging space and zip tied at one point. I mean, it's like that doesn't look acceptable. It's not the way I want to say it. And it turns out that the two border agents who were involved in this were little guys anyway. 
So um, they decided that uh, they didn't take the place away. And it came up for the two guys. And the captain all had to go top to top. Uh, I guess they did. I don't know. Two guys found dead. Mr. Blood remained silent. He invoked his right to remain silent. He said he was trying to kill the guy. The two guys were taking Jango, Hernandez, Bruno, and Eric Ramirez Aguilar. Oh, <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's a drug test like that. This is just a civil operator who's actually dead or dead. I don't know if it's a drug deal or not. Um, so then he says, fourth star, and what, what's the power of it? And he's just going to be sad here for this one. Red Hyatt. Could you call it a drug test? I don't know if it's a drug test. I don't know if it's a drug test. This is how I'm smuggling you. Get in the casket. I'm getting into the casket with another guy. This is how I do it. Uh, and of course, as I said, he immediately invoked his right to remain silent. But, you know, he got his... 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 I think they didn't look like a proper thing. They don't think it's time for it. A dead naval officer. A question for you like that. Oh, oh, oh. The firecrack guy is here, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to start going to go to the Biden guy. And, uh, not so great. That Biden is going to go to see the Pope, and he's trying to get together these yeah. massive spending bills in Congress. And it looks like they're going to move as well. Going to air on the Yeah. Nine times they're going to knock out the KFI and support it. You can listen to KFI everywhere. Like you haven't noticed.
Along with a 160-point inspection, you get a 12-month or 12,000-mile limited comprehensive warranty and seven years of roadside assistance for the date of purchase. For all warranties, be dealer for details. Not all customers can qualify. Limited term financing through Toyota Financial Services. Must take delivery from Toyota Certified Used Vehicle Dealer Stock by midnight November 1st. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow closed up 89, S&P 500 up 9, NASDAQ up 50, and the average price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 458. With a range of commercial fire and security solutions, Bay Alarm can protect it all with just one call. Southland weather from KFI, partly cloudy and cooler. Tomorrow, highs low to mid-70s for Metro LA. Mid-70s for on 80 in the valleys, mid to upper 70s for inland OC. Upper 70s, low 80s in the IE. Right now, it's 80 in Shield Beach, the same in Costa Mesa, 85 in North Hollywood, and 75 in Santa Monica. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Deborah Mark. We'd like to formally welcome you to the West Hollywood Bowl Show. Welcome to Biden, Bill, everyone. All the men who are the so you know the city. My mind's going blank now. Uh, um, what am I doing here? Whether or not there were the, the man on the moon, or, 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 you know, something, or, you know, or whether there's aliens are here or not, what, what, I can't remember. Anyway, I drive every day, I, I commute every single day for 36 years as the Vice President of the United States. A lot of the folks in Amtrak became my family, not a joke. Last night I was on television, I was on television, I was on the telephone. I'm not, I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. I want to thank uh, that fellow down in Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Mr. Prime The Secretary of Health and Education, I nominated Javier Bacalera. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of the vaccination center in Arizona, John Cobell, Tim Shampoo, Starfire, and I'm supporting live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. Yeah, 15 minutes is all it takes for us to get to the most fun people, but right before they come on, we get the two words of text to possibly get a thousand dollars. I have it on good word that when he got to the Vatican today, Joe Biden did tell the Pope the train Air Force Two story. <laughs> <laughs> that was really whatever it was, two million miles flown and kind of bugged the stare down. The story was told like seven times and apparently it's not been up for uh, at least the people he mentioned uh, were already dead or otherwise long gone. Yeah, I've got a time frame. What a fascinating medical awesome. story on uh, some new research on Alzheimer's and what goes on in your brain about the clusters of proteins mm. that eat up the uh, brain cells. <laughs> Yeah, and they start to they start to spread almost like cancer cells. Mm. Yeah. That I means if you're really quiet and you stand next to Biden, you can hear the protein eating the brain cells. Oh come on. Oh yeah. Well, uh, it's a little insects monster. Who would want to do that? Well, <laughs> apparently old Joe jetted off first to the Vatican where the Pope said, "Sure, you can have to be me." Why we got an issue because the person excommunicated for his post life years. That's the issue. Uh, but he spent only 75 minutes with the Pope. To get there, apparently it was an 80 vehicle entourage in the streets of Rome. Which is a bit surprising because his next stop is the climate change conference yeah. in Scotland. A an 80 car motorcycle? Again, yeah, they're they, 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 they're not really afraid of the I mean, they don't really believe in it. Did they walk there or to the bicycle? I, I only need one car to get around, right? Yeah. You're not president. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Get, get me to 85. Get me to 85. You never know what kind of terrorist attack could occur, right? Well, you're giving them 85 targets. You ever see these films where they have these elaborate plots? Where there's just people with bombs all over the place, and they take over in cop uniforms, and... Yeah, have you ever seen these movies? No. It distorts people's sense of reality. Uh, before he left, or at least by the time he landed in, in Italy, he was supposed to get his uh, bill, or at least one of them, uh, to get a positive vote in Congress. And one was the original $3.5 trillion social welfare bill, 
and the other was this uh, total infrastructure bill. You know, totally 1.2 trillion. So much looks like they're both dead right now. A and good, and they should remain dead forever. Do you know there is so much bullying and bad reporting on all this? I I, I just I can't stomach it. Ooh, ooh, it it's not a three and a half trillion dollar bill. They just decided to only fund a few years of these programs, and they figure once these programs are funded and people get used to them, there'll be programs you'll never be able to repeal. Wow, I saw yeah. these, these, these. So it's like initial three and a half trillion? Three and a half trillion for three years or four years. Yeah, all, all these different programs, whether it's uh, uh, like, like it's free, free child care. Free, free kindergarten yeah. is in there, right? Yeah, in fact, you want to hear what the deal This is what frustrates me. There's no details given. It's just about, well, it's three trillion dollars. Is it going to pass or it's not going to pass? Is Biden going to succeed or fail? That's not the point. The point is, what is it funding? And would it work? And that's never discussed. What is it funding and would it work? And we're stuck with it. And what are the unintended consequences? Here is just one issue uh, about the Democrats want to pay for your child. All right? And everybody goes, oh, that's a very good thing. You know, working parents, they need child care subsidies. And that's well, what it would, it's a good squeaky voice, but yeah. that's what people say. Yeah, that's right. They, 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 this would subsidize child care. You'd, you'd get some government money to help you out. Well, here's how it really works, and this is from a left leaning writer mm -hmm. named Matt Brunick. He says this is going to backfire because under the Democratic child care plan, child care workers are meant to be paid at the same rate as elementary school teachers. See, a child care worker now makes an average of about 25000 An elementary school teacher gets 60000 So you'd have to increase the child care worker's wages by 138%. Well, if you go by their subsidy formula, it means child care for a parent will go from about 16 grand to 29 grand. See, you're going to have to pay a lot more for child care and a, 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 a cup of a two-income couple, a couple that where both are working, they would see a huge increase in their child care bill. So I thought the bill was going to pay for child care. It doesn't pay for it. It subsidizes it. But it's going, to, it's going to raise the base price of child care. That's in the bill to raise the base price? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Under, under, that's, that's my whole point. Under the Democratic child care plan, child care workers are meant yeah. to increase wages to those okay. received by elementary school teachers. So what's going to happen is, while poor couples will get this big subsidy,